the seven habits of highly effective people habit number one be proactive be proactive is about taking responsibility for your life proactive people recognize that they are responsible labor they don't blame circumstances conditions or conditioning for their behavior they know they can choose their behavior reactive people on the other hand are often affected by their physical environment they find external sources to blame for their behavior if the weather is good they feel good if it isn't it affects their attitude and performance and they blame the weather all these external forces act as stimuli that we respond to. Between the stimulus and the response is our greatest power. We have the freedom to choose our response. One of the most important things we choose is what we say. Our language is a good indicator of how we see ourselves. A proactive person uses proactive language. I can. I will, I prefer. A reactive person uses reactive language. I can't, I have to, if only like that. Reactive people believe they are not responsible for what they say and do, they have no choice. Proactive people focus their efforts on their circle of influence. They work on the things they can do something about health children or problems at work reactive people focus their efforts in the circle of concern things over which they have little or no control gaining an awareness of the areas in which we expend our energies is a giant step in becoming proactive habit number two begin with the end in mind begin with the end in mind is based on imagination the ability to envision in your mind what you cannot at present see with your eyes it is based on the principle that all things are created twice there is a mental creation and a physical creation the physical creation follows the mental just as building follows a blueprint if you don't make a conscious effort to visualize who you are and what you want in life, then you empower other people and circumstances to shape you and your life by default. It's about connecting again with your uniqueness and then defining the personal, moral and ethical guidelines within which you can most happily express and fulfill yourself. One of the best ways to incorporate habits to into your life is to develop a personal mission statement. It focuses on what you want to be and do. It is your plan for success. It reaffirms who you are, puts your goals in focus and moves your ideas into the real world. Your mission into the uh, true statement makes you the leader of your own life. You create your destiny and secure the future you envy in. Habit number three, put first things first. Put first things first is the exercise of independent will toward becoming principle-centered. Habit number three is the practical fulfillment of habit number one and two. Habit number one says, you are the creator. You are in charge. Habit number two is the first mental creation based on imagination, the ability to envision what you can become. Habit number three is the second creation, the physical creation. This habit is where habit number one and two comes together. It happens day in and day out, moment by moment. It deals with many of the questions addressed around time management, but that's not all. Habit number three is about life, management of life as well. Your purpose, your values, rules and priorities. What are first things? First things are those things you find of most worth. If you put first things 
first you are organizing and managing time and events according to the personal priorities you established in habit number two habit number four think win win the habit of mutual benefit think win win isn't about being nice nor is it a quick fix technique it is a character based code for human interaction and collaboration most of us learn to base our self worth on comparisons and competitions we think about succeeding in terms of someone else failing if i win you lose or if you win i lose life becomes a zero sum of game there is only so much pie to go around and if you get a big piece there is a less for me it's not fair and i'm going to make sure you don't get any more we all play the game but how much fun is it really win win sees life as a cooperative arena not a competitive one win is a frame of mind and heart that constantly seeks mutual benefit in all human interactions win-win means agreements or solutions are mutually beneficial and satisfying we both get to eat the pie and it tastes pretty darn good to go for win-win you not only have to be empathetic but you also have to be confident you not only have to be considerate and sensitive but you also have to be brave that balance between courage and consideration is the essence of real maturity and is fundamental to win habit number 5 seek first to understand then to be understood habit number 5 is the habit of empathic communication communication is the most important skill in life you spend years learning how to read how to write how to speak but what about listening what training have you had that enables you to listen so you really deeply understand an other human being probably none am i right yeah if you are like most people you probably seek first to be understood you want to get your point across in doing so you many ignore the other persons completely pretended that you are listening selectively hear only certain parts of the conversation or attentively focus on only the words being said but miss the meaning entirely so why does this happen because most people listen with the intent to reply not to understand you listen to yourself as you prepare in your mind in uh, and as you prepare in your mind what you are going to say the questions you are going to ask you filter everything you hear through your life experiences your frame of references and you check what you hear against your autobiography and see how it mirrors up you decide prematurely what the other person means before they finish communicating do any of the following sound familiar you might be saying hey wait a minute i am just trying to relate to the person by drawing on my own experiences is that so bad in some situations autobiographical responses may be appropriate such as when another person specifically ask for help from your point of view or when there is already a very high level of trust in the relationship habit number 7 synergize synergy means two heads are better than one synergize is the habit of creative cooperation it is teamwork open mindedness and the adventure of finding new solutions to old problems but it doesn't happen on its own it's a process and through that process people bring all their personal experiences and expertise to the table together they can produce far better results than they could individually synergy lets 
us discover jointly things we are much less likely to discover be ourselves. It is the idea that the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. 1 plus 1 equals 3 or 6 or 60, you name it, like that. When people begin to interact together generally or they are open to each other's influence, they begin to gain new insights. The capability of inventing new approaches is increased exponentially because of the differences. Valuing differences is what really drives synergy. Do you truly value the mental, emotional and psychological differences among people? Or do you wish everyone would just agree with you so you could all get along? No way. Many people mistake uniformity for unity and sameness for oneness. One word be boring differences should be seen as strength, not weaknesses. They add zest to life. Habit number seven, sharpen the saw. Sharpen the saw means preserving and enhancing the greatest asset you have you it means having a balanced program of yourself a balanced program for self renewal in the four areas of your life what are the four areas in our life these are physical emotional social mental and spiritual areas in our life without the uh, renewal the body becomes weak, the mind mechanical, the emotions raw, the spirit insensitive and the person selfish. Not a pretty picture, is it? You can pamper yourself mentally and spiritually. Every day provides a new opportunity for renewal. A new opportunity to recharge yourself instead of hitting the wall. All it takes is the desire, knowledge, and skill. Thank you.